I chose health informatics here at SOIC because the syllabus that covers a large portion of what I want to really do with that is analyzing data, organizing it, didn't only focus on a data analysis part, but also we have certain subjects that include clinical workflows, EHR systems, standards and terminologies used in the health related fields. The professor I've been working with is Professor Saptarshi Purkayasta. I started working with him in my first semester. It's been a great journey, huge learning curve because I know nothing about health IT. And I did tell him in my interview that, listen, I don't know this. And he's like, I want you to work with me and I want you to learn with me. And that was just wow, you know, like, because I had nothing to offer to him, but then he invested his time and his patience and his skill set in me. And I think that's been a great experience. And I don't think I would find such great mentors anywhere else. My project is based on developing a clinical decision support tool that follows the APA classification developed by the Ledger Foundation along with the APA on how do you classify babies and giving essential treatment to babies from 0 to 24 hours. We're losing lives when essential tasks are not being performed, whether the breathing is monitored or not, or whether the temperature is monitored. Assessment of these certain essential tasks have to be performed from 0 to 24 hours. Our app is going to help nurses, healthcare workers, midwives, remind them that there is a voiceless child out there that also needs attention. That is the goal and aim of our clinical decision support tool that we have developed. I'm hoping to work in clinical workflows as a clinical data analyst or within the EHR systems, the electronic health record community, because I've been able to develop a knack for finding loopholes within the workflow of a clinical system because of what I've been taught and my work in the lab.